So right now we are in a fifth grade classroom in Olive Street Elementary in Puerto Rico, California. So we are right between Fresno and Bakersfield, right in the center. Since I was a kindergartner, I wanted to be a teacher. Since I had Ms. Hernandez, she was my kindergarten teacher. It, w it wasn't so much in the beginning that I want to be a teacher. It was more like I want to be li like Ms. Hernandez. So these kids are just like me. The same uh, family background, circumstances. My parents worked in the fields just like theirs. I mean, I look at them I'm like, okay, they could be a teacher. But they just need that motivation. Because I know, sadly at home, the motivation is not there. And the expectation is not there. I think that's what's key with these kids. Having a teacher that has the same background as the students uh, is a big, big uh, factor in, in education. I'm very excited about the Kremen School's South Valley Education Initiative because it will help to prepare more deserving and talented students from Tulare, Kings, and Kern counties for uh, an education at Fresno State and other higher education institutions. It will also help to prepare more teachers uh, who will be in the classrooms throughout the South Valley who will help to prepare that next generation of leaders. There's a need for, for these kids to go higher ed. Higher education is so important now. It used to be high school. Now it's college before you can move forward. Let's do something for these kids when they become seniors that they do have an opportunity to go to college. There's financial aid, but it doesn't cover. How about scholarships? Dr. Aguilar's vision is very contagious. He's a very positive man. He's been in the educational field for many years. He's a well-respected man. There's an avenue, if they had a desire to go to college and they had the sense that they wanted to be a teacher, that there was an avenue that perhaps we could help provide for scholarships to fund that education. My biggest fear, my, my parents are both field workers. So my biggest fear was, how are we gonna pay for it? The way I grew up, like all my friends, they kind of blame it on that. Oh, I don't have money to go to college. Well, I can't. I couldn't pay for it. That's too expensive. So I think those scholarships being available would definitely uh, motivate more people to reach their goal of, of a teaching career. If you think about how a teacher impacts students, it, the the multiplying effect is, is incredible because that one teacher has the opportunity to touch multiple lives year round. I try my best to motivate them that when they leave my class, they, they have that motivation, intrinsic motivation, to go to college. Now, there's no doubt you're going to college, it's just which college. Uh, that's my ultimate goal. I think that's the goal of every teacher, right? To not only educate them, but educate them well enough that they feel confident that they will succeed in college. When they say, Mr. I want to be a teacher like you. That's just the, like the best reward for a teacher, like hands down.